Hi folks, it's getting late. I'm in my man shed. Now sometimes I have an open fire there on um, on that tree. But it can get smoky. And smoke tends to follow you all around the place. Wherever you go, uh, you, you sort of come away smelling of smoke. So I'm going to attempt to make what's called a solo fire stroke fire pit stroke uh, oven and I'm going to use two pans one's 12.99 one's 9.99 so that's like 23 quid now these are about five years old so it's not a problem I don't use them so if I wreck them fair enough but I'm hoping it will be successful I'm also going to use these old bolts which axle stand bolts they, they they come in like a piece a triangle piece of plastic to raise your vehicle up off the floor so yeah I'll be um, somehow trying to place them in the bottom and because there's a bolt thing on here I can adjust that to whatever height I want allowing airflow to come underneath the pans I want to try and bend these handles so I don't have to cut them off and the idea being that the handles will also keep an equal space for an air gap let's see So that's my logic. Then that will fit in here. Then I can raise it. So ultimately, it will be almost level because. This lid will be fit, fitted on there eventually, and that's got to be quite a good seal.
and so the morning after nice bright September the 22nd morning <laughs> the holes are done hard work you can burn your drills out if you don't let them cool down as you can see various holes in the bottom it's not too critical obviously this is more of an experiment uh, hopefully it will work but the air will be allowed in and up the sides so next the other pan oh. okay I've got to tell you ah, this is all great this is so what I've done I've got a log got me inside tin which it really doesn't matter and I'm going to try podging holes in just using an hammer and a big nail let's have a look yeah okay job done no need to burn my drill out no need to take hours drill 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 so that's what I'm going to do and I put a lot of holes in here now ad lib Really nearly just using the hammer and a nail. And in the tradition of adopt, adapt, and improve, I'm now trying a screwdriver. And I've also learned because it's very noisy, which might annoy the neighbours. Who cares really? You've got to do your bit. By holding your legs against the tin, it deadens the noise quite a lot. So here we go with the screwdriver. Much easier tougher than the nail as well. There you go. Loads of holes. Just point out that the piece of wood is there. It takes the blow out the uh, the hammer. Without that, you'd probably get loads of big dents in, in the tin. So that just supports the body of the pan. One other thing, I would probably use some of those uh, heavy duty gloves, like the suede gloves just in case you cut your hands on anything and also maybe even eye protection which I have got but um, it's difficult for me to do that and to make the video and I'm being a bit lazy but I'm just saying for your own if, if you were to make one of these I, I'd recommend you wear something like that and here are the gloves just to prove a point, one little cut of the sharp shards, I think they call them shards, so um, yes, I do recommend you wear gloves. All holes then, now for these uh, bolts to go through, and for that I'll be using this step drill. Battery is nearly gone. 
I'll be back. Change the battery. One. <laughs> To the heat coming off that. But like I say, it's uh, harder than you think, but you get there. And there is, of course, no reason for you to do that. I'm doing it because I've got these four, I've got four of these old bolts to use as legs to keep it off the floor, to give it plenty of airflow when that's upside down, like so. But of course, you could just use a couple of house bricks for that matter, or some small uh, nuts and bolts or something. So bear that in mind. Right, and now we have four holes. We have one leg bolt and with a bit of luck, nice snug fit. Now the other thing with these leg bolts, which I might do in the future, if you look at them, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bolt. There you go, there's the hole. It goes straight through to the top. So what my logic will be there, I might hook up a little fan with some pipes to go into these holes to blow air up the holes right out and into the fire area, which again could help make a more intense flame, which would be very useful just for starting the fire. We will see. If it works well without that I won't bother, but it's just something, just an idea. Right, I've moved up to the top garden, mainly because I want a cup of coffee, and the kitchen's right there. <laughs> so, uh, very convenient. But what I need to do next is the last bit of drilling, and that is holes. into the top of the inside pan around here okay so the uh, holes are done all along the uh, what do you call the circumference <laughs> all along the top but there is quite a few uh, dangerous what you call, there you go, bur burrs or whatever. So I've got this um, countersunk tool to just go around and remove lots of loose splinters, whatever you want to call them. Just, just makes it a little bit safer. I um, haven't bothered doing this everywhere, of course. No real need to unless you're going to be uh, handling it a lot. But of course, on the top, it's more, more likely that you will use it. So, I'm just doing the top. Can you see that? One more. I'll leave that there. I'll be back in a second. Here we are. All right. Outside with the legs on. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, the legs are on. Now I'm going to place the uh, the inside 
in the outside. Push it down. Not bad, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Now what I was thinking of doing, I just come on. I was thinking of placing spaces in here. But these are doing a good job anyway. The handles are doing a good job. So just maybe I might put a little pebble or two just down there and there. But I'm relatively happy with the way it's all worked out. Right there she is with the uh, legs. I don't know if you can see inside there, possibly, but basically there is a gap from the bottom to around here and that's enabling air to get in. And underneath, obviously you saw the holes previously, but there's uh, holes underneath, holes there, and that will uh, enable the air to circulate all around the edge and up from there. And this is where I've changed my plan slightly. Originally, this can was going to go in here. I was going to, the, the, the lead was going to go in there. I was going to cut it around here to enable me to do what I want to end up doing. But instead, I've decided to take an easy route and use this metal file tape. Can you see that's difficult to see in this uh, noise? But basically, the idea is is to seal this gap here, and that will force the oxygen, well, the air, out of the holes here instead of letting it escape through there. It will make sense, hopefully. Back in a moment. So put your sweet hopes next to my lips. Fiddly stop. I will be podging the holes later. I must emphasize, I know that's a big word, but um, I must do it. I like to make use of any old junk that's lying around. Now I had this tape a couple of years back, and I thought that'll come in for something, and lo and behold, it, it has. Same as these tins, probably five or six years ago, and lo and behold, apart from one lot of Faggots and pays. I did one night at a Black Country uh, show. That's all I've done, really. I've kept bird seed in them, funny enough. So now, oh, I didn't make today. now I've uh, found issues for them. And of course, through lockdown, I did lots of little DIY, DIY jobs about the garden and what have you using. Lots of junk that was just lying around. So, a quick little uh, look around. Do, 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 do. On this side, as you can see, 
this is a metal file inside all the holes have been popped so the next thing to do is to get some wood in here and set fire to it right the day after the day before it started raining last night so I uh, I've had to wait till today to see if this works. I ain't got no euros, but I'll be the English. It's my mate Baz, by the way. He wants me to get him some cigars tomorrow. Oh, you're recording. Match gone. Yeah. Woo. That's actually burning the wood pretty quite good. Just want to burn this little bit of paper. Yeah, so 11 should cover the cigars, guys. And 12 should cover the aloe vera. <laughs> that cactus stuff. Get the I'll, 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 make, I'll make a note. It's alright, I'm going to get my friend some uh, some uh, items from Curator Ventura tomorrow, folks. But first off... <laughs> do you think I can light a fire, Maz? Yes, sir. I have done it. This is... Um, what this is, Baz? This is a... Have you made that? I've made it. It's a smokeless fire pit. Have you seen them advertised on the telly? Them 250 quid. That's right. It's bigger than that, but well, it's like a washing machine. It might be a bit bigger than a washing machine. 250 quid. I know, yeah. So I thought, I thought I'm just going to make one. So it took me a day to make it. You can have a fire lighter. Chuck a fire lighter in. That's a good idea. I'll, I'll pro probably do that in a bit. If uh, I just want to see if I can get it going, and if I can, I'll be happy. So 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 so. It's looking looking promising. So yeah, I've just had uh, just having a visit of a friend of mine. He's bought some cigars. Now don't get me wrong, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. I've never smoked many cigars in my life. But we went to Cuba, me and Baz. These hardly go out as well. They? And we got some cigars. These hardly go out, mate. He's been promising to come round. Well, I, I was. I was going to come round, but when... When... What? Someone happened. Mother in law died, yeah. I couldn't. I, I left his service. But anyway, he's come round today. On spec. I'm just going from the frigging hospital. And we're trying these cigars. These are from Fruit Ventura, funny enough. But we have got along from Cuba. Let me show you the setup, folks. <laughs> Two chairs. Old oak table in the middle. And now we've got a fire. Now, is this going to be a smoke-less fire? Or is it going to kick out loads of fire? Now, as you can see, this is for YouTube, by the way, Barry. What's that? An old stewing pot or something? YouTube. Now YouTube's where you upload no, videos. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You, that is... Basically, two big pans, different sizes, and I've drilled holes in it to let the air through. And, and there's one inside the other. And the, the, the idea is that the, the air comes in through here and just goes right up the edge in between mm. the two and it gets really warmed by the fire that's in there yeah. it gets really warmed and it gives you a secondary burn at the top we and the legs from that one the burns are off <laughs> you know how we improvise we um that is like me if he finds something lying around, rather than chuck it away, 
we'd much rather keep it for a rainy day because you never know when when you might need the odd nut or bolt look at this bolt because it's small because it's small and low you can still feel plenty of heat off it can't you yeah, okay. and i haven't seen any smoke yet but what i want to do is bang build it up so there's more wood in it some piece of wood under here oh, i've got bags of wood on the lows of wood too much wood. I've got about 10 bags of wood. So what I'm going to do now, I don't know if you can hear me so well over there, but I'll tell you what, this is looking good, this. Um, so far so good. Now normally you wouldn't be able to stand here for smoke. Instead you can't stand here for cigar smoke. <laughs> Now, the secret is, is to put wood in it, but not to really go past the top of the fire. So I'm going to put loads of wood in now, loads, just to see if I can build it up a bit. And to see if there's lots of smoke, I'll tell you something. You can get a lot of smoke, bass. A lot of smoke in these little fires. But, no, um, no. Would you say that's that's enough, isn't it? It's always good to have a second opinion. I'm just going to pick this last piece in. And there you go. So the idea is, as it gets hotter, it burns more efficiently and the little holes help more oxygen reignite any, any gases that are coming out the top. A little bit of smart enough that last piece of the gift one, you know. Yeah, some mechanics. There might be smut on that last piece, but... Uh, I'm not too concerned. So there you go, one fire and two old fellas having a, having a cigar. Take a seat, as if you want to. What do you need there? Is some Tory MP. We've got to keep this non political. <laughs> You're my witness. Can you see any smoke? Not really, no. No. Folks, I'm pleased. I'm amazed. I mean, we've got some serious flames going on here. And, you know, you would be seeing a lot of smoke now. Seriously. Just try it yourself with, uh, with, a, with a bucket. You'll find a lot of smoke. But, um, I'm not seeing a lot of smoke. You said to use that safe with my central heating on there. I'm gonna. I'll be down here all the time. Now the top is a bit experimental. It's only like tape, so I expect it to set fire any minute. But if I know that works, I could always put a proper a proper seal on the top. The same, but like made out of metal, so is it uh, is less likely to burn. But if it works. And that definitely works, doesn't it? And some thin aluminium, very thin guys aluminium. But what I have got... Yeah. 
So, perfect fit for that. So eventually this will go on the top. Barbecue. And then I want to get like a, a saucepan. And I'm gonna I'm gonna boil some water. You can chuck barbecue down in there on barbecue. Yeah. But with that, put the grill on, put a pan on, I'll cook some stuff on there. Put a saucepan on it or a kettle even. Make cups of tea down here. I tell you what. Even even if I have made a shade for you know, if it rains, if I made something, I could sit down here in the winter easy, it's boiling. Because a lot of these things stop the heat because it's it's like you're gonna have a big fishing umbrella. No, but I could get one. <laughs> you can get a cheap big I used to love sitting on the fishing night fishing in the tea down the rain. Really it was not an umbrella. I was only on a deck one and single deck chair thing. I used to have uh, a bungee strap to it to the what's it? What's it called? Belt and down the rain. <laughs> <laughs> but um I'm thrilled because it's working. It 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 ain't really kicking out tons of smoke like um I like it. Well, there you have it, folks. He's mad, Baz, by the way. And I'm mad, Gaz. There you have it. One smokeless fire pit, and I'm telling you something. I'll move you straight in now, and, and you can see for yourself. That is going to be okay. Let's say there's the grill that can go over the top, or I can rig something else up. And I am going to be cooking. Let me show you something. <sighs> I have got loads of food up here. <laughs> Because, okay, believe me, there is going to be a food shortage because when Barry hits the supermarket, he tends to buy a lot of groceries. So, when people are all at the supermarkets thinking, why is there none of this, none of that, none of the other? It's too late to panic buy. I don't panic buy. I common sense buy. I buy a little bit more every time. I don't panic boys, it's just if, if the toilet rolls them off I usually stop it. And I'll get massive loads together, but I'll yeah. be going back and so. But to be honest you don't even need toilet rolls. You could just use a nose pipe and a dock leaf, so yeah. <laughs> That's it from me folks. Enjoy yourselves. I'm off to enjoy Miss Gore.